Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We're on to part five of our desk set. Um, today I want to um, make the accordion folder that's going to go on this side right here. So we're going to do that. Uh, we decorated that yesterday. Uh, we finished decorating this and uh, we secured this put the papers in it, et cetera, put the papers in the middle. Um, and now we're gonna do that, but I think before we go to this, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the cover. Now, um, I didn't, I'm not gonna show you how to cover it because we covered the first, uh, the folder, the folio. So I went in and I added the paper to the inside and the out and I've inked it. So now we're ready to decorate this. So let me pull the other one over here. So um, we're gonna use this as a guide because I'm trying to con reconstruct this. Now you can see I dirtied this one up quite a bit more than I did this one. And I might come back and add some more ink to this one. So let's go ahead. We're going to make a pocket down here on this one. So let me sit down, and as usual, I think I'm crooked, so let me straighten this up. Okay, and just a bit more, there we go. Um, okay, I've got some pieces over here. Now, the pocket we're going to make is a three inches in uh, height and eight inches in width and I think that's a pretty good size to sit right here and I'm looking at this and this kind of looks a little crooked so let me just put this here and see yeah I think it is I need to uh, take a little bit off for some reason this right here is not even completely so let's even that up, okay. And we're going to put some paper on it. Let me see if I have, I have some scraps over here. That's, I've got smaller scrap than that. We'll try to, this looks like it'll be good right here. I'm going to go ahead and just glue that on there. Uh, you can use, um, for this kind of paper, uh, if you're going to just make this for yourself or as a gift, use a glue stick. It will work fine, but because I'm probably going to do give this as my giveaway for July, I want it, you know, to be made real good. So I'm using my Fabri-Tac. All right, let's go ahead and trim off. Let me move this aside. The paper we don't need. Right around the side. And up here. Okay, and I think I'm going to, I'm gonna ink this up and I'm also gonna round the corners. Um, I've got my corner rounder over here somewhere. Here it is. Desk is very full. All right, and you could also put a little notch in here if you want. And also this would be the time if you want to sew around it to sew, sew around it, which I did this. And uh, did I sew right through? No, I just sewed it and then glued the pocket. But for time's sake, we're not going to do that. Let me go ahead and um, just ink it a little bit. I used that good glue, so it's really not necessary. The stitching at this point in time is mostly just for interest on the page. Okay, um, I am using the uh, pigment color box 
and I'm using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And I've gone back and forth between the Oxide and the, um, uh, the Distress Oxide and the Distress Ink. Okay, uh, I've got a little bit of embellishment here, and then I have some um, crocheted trim here. I have a little B uh, wax seal, and then I have a sorry ruffle. So let's go ahead and add our little bit down here. Um, I did go ahead and cut some. Now this is this is different, isn't it? Nope, this is for, okay, we're gonna decorate this cover afterwards and I've got the burlap ready to go for that. So let me put that back and we will work on, on this. So um, let's just cut a piece. Now this is cardstock actually, but um, let me even it up a little bit here. But what I did with this is I peeled the cardboard off of the back and the burlap came right up off of it. And that's what I'm gonna do on the front cover. Um, I'm not gonna do that here because that's really not necessary. So I'm kind of just eyeballing that and I might make it a little shorter, we'll see. And you can fray the edges a little bit if you if you get this, or use, you know, decorate your, decorate it any way you want. This is, I just, I liked this, this whole look. And then I have a little piece of muslin trim, and this is too big, so let me just rip this right in half. Well, not quite half, yeah, probably half. I ordered new scissors just for fabric and I'm going to mark them and I'm gonna mark on the handle fabric so I don't ruin them. I ruin every pair of my scissors. I'm too lazy to change them out and that's just not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that on. I also have this cute little uh, label here, and this is from Junk with Steph Words and Labels uh, Digi. So let's go ahead and glue this all together. Let's go ahead and glue this right on here. Well, I'll put the glue on this. And this also could be would be pretty sewn around. You could just sew right around the edge, you know. I would probably sew this part on right here. And um, I did pre-make, whoops, pre-make some, pre-made some tags that we're going to decorate. And I don't know if we'll get to that today. That will probably be the very last video, and this is crooked. Let me slide that down. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's add a little lace. Let me grab my lace. And I like the scallop lace. Um, I got this off of, off of Amazon. The value was just really good, too good to pass up. I do buy lace. Um, on Etsy sometimes, but this was so affordable that I, I think, I don't know, maybe it was like $12 for all that lace, if you can imagine. I'm just, I was over the moon, and I'm gonna order more before they're out of stock. So I'm bringing this down about three quarters of an inch. And there we go. And I have pre-sewn a bit of this sari into a ruffle. So let's see how much we need. Right here, just eyeballing. Cut that and we'll use this for on the top of some tags. Let me see which way. Do I want it down like this? 
or up like this. I guess it really doesn't matter. Looks pretty much the same. Now these aren't, this is not a perfect ruffle and I can get perfect ruffles with um, fabric scraps, fabric pieces, but sorry is a little bit more difficult. So, but I like the organic look of that. It's not perfect and I really think it looks, it looks great. Now I think I put a little wax seal. You could do a little button here. You could do a little ball pin with a charm. Um, you know, whatever. It's your, you decorate it the way you want. And I have this little bee. No, butterfly. I got a butterfly here. I have a bee on the other one. And I make these up ahead of time. So they're ready to go. And the fabric tack is the glue I would suggest if you're going to make your wax seals ahead of time. If you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on making the wax seals, let me know. They're very simple to make. And I think they kind of do jazz your, pro your um, projects up. They look great on envelopes, you know, authentic wax seal look. Okay, so now this is ready to put on our folder. And the only, where did I do with my folder? Here it is. The only thing left to do would be to stuff, oh no, let me show you what you're going to do. Before we attach this, um, we're going to add some lace to the sides because I made this a dimensional See how that pops out? So the you would have plenty of room for other things besides your folio in there. That's why I call these desk sets because you can leave them on your desk and add uh, receipts, photos, um, you know, notes, whatever you want, you can stuff in there. And it's and it's fun to they're pretty. I mean, you can change them up for the season. This one's obviously very summery um, or spring summer. Okay, so I've got some lace over here. Now that super wide lace I, I had is gone. So I'm thinking I might do three of these down the side here. So I'm going to need about this much, which looks like it's about two inches. So I'm just going to make six. One. And we'll just attach them to one side and then I will um, do the other side off camera just for the sake of time. Okay, so um, probably about an inch down, I'm going to secure this lace. Make sure I'm in frame here. Ugh, it's a lot of glue. I think a bit much. Okay, so there's that. Let that sit for a minute. And then go down here an inch up. And three quarters of an inch to an inch, just eyeballing it. If you really want to get technical and have it perfect, you can obviously measure. But this is the look of this is homemade. And then we'll just pop it right in the middle here. And you know what would be cute now that I'm thinking about it? And I might do that with the other one, with this one uh, also. I think I might put a little button on each of these. Look how cute that would be. Let me see if I have a button here that you can see what that would look like. Well, I have a, whoops, I have a little pink one, which I'm not gonna use pink, but just so you get the idea three little buttons uh-huh that's what I'm gonna do so I'll have to pull my button thing out and we'll do three little buttons and then obviously you're gonna flip this over and you're going to glue the back so let's go ahead and you want to keep a little um, you don't want it tight see I'm whoops I got too much glue there where it's kind of like this see so then when you open this, see, you have that much room. So we'll be, you know, so it's a dimensional um, folder. So 
So I'm going to try to figure out how many ways I can use Manila file folders. I've used them for so many different things. Um, and I love making all these new these desk sets all different ways because um, I like to design new things. So there, now that, that's gonna be real cute with buttons and I'll just do the buttons down the front. And let's go ahead and put our pocket on. Here it is. Whoops, this way. And there again, I'm just gonna eyeball it into the center. Let me get the string off. So put the glue across the bottom and down the sides. Right, yeah. For a minute there, I thought I'd put the glue across the top. And we would be putting our pocket on upside down, wouldn't we? Okay, so there's our folder. I'll just come back later and I'll do the buttons and uh, the other side of the hinges. Okay, let's move on and we will um, decorate this. And let me pull the other one over and see how I did that. Okay, so I'm adding a piece of burlap, and this is probably about two by two and a half. I'm thinking, you know, you, you, you do yours and the way you want to do it. And then I have this die cut here, very fragile. I went ahead and inked it, so that's going to go on here. Um, let's go ahead and get this down first, and then... I have this, um, and this is just a little uh, paper bag, and I think what I did with this is the cardboard I peeled off the back of the burlap is what I used. So, I mean, use it all. Use it, anything you have can be fun and and it's a good way to get your creativity going so let's glue this on and i did come in and i sewed around this one right here but for time's sake we're not going to do that and i frayed the edges of the burlap after i pulled it off the cardboard And then we'll put this right on there, and then we'll add our um, die cut. So if you all are enjoying this series, if you could um, uh, just hit that thumbs up for me. And then if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel because I do... A lot of easy projects, some are a little bit more complex, but um, they're all fun. Now, I did add some stickers, and I have one over here that I took the sticky bag off, and I'm going to show you these stickers in a minute, and I got these off of uh, Amazon. The only thing I don't like about them is the backs are really hard to get off. Whoopsies. This is not secure. So, let me see if I can find my packages of stickers. I have them all in this bag, so let me just show you something. They come in packages and they're by Monet Gardens, and they come in like five or six packages, and you get such a beautiful variety, but I really am struggling to get the backs off of these. They're so hard to get, to peel, I got glue all over me, 
to peel the backs off, but look how gorgeous they are. You just, if you, if you have some patience, they really, look at all these, look at this one. Look how beautiful that is. They're just gorgeous. Um, so those were from Amazon, and if you need the link for, to that, let me know, and I'll be happy to link them. So I have that one, and then we're gonna add this, and this I use, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. She's clogged, and I'm not going to take time to unclog her. I left the cap off. Bad, 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 bad. Um, I will glue her down right there, okay? And then um, I'm thinking I might add another sticker. I had picked two more out over here, and I'm not going to spend too much time. That one's too big. I might have to go through my stickers to find smaller ones. This one's pretty. And just add that there. Or find another one. And that will be the front of this. So let me move that aside till I unclog my thing. Now, I want to work on the... Um, the full the this little folio over here this accordion folder okay now what i'm using um and this is the same size as this one well no it's it's a little shorter and the reason why i'm making this one shorter because i'm not sure if i gave you the dimensions for this is because i want to fit two tags in behind here whoops two tags in behind here. Now we made this, I showed you, I, I pulled off some paper because I didn't like the way this, my first accordion fit in here. And um, I did the dimensions with this one and I think I showed you that. Um, it's the bottom of the folder and you just literally follow the score lines around and then you have this, this you know, more of a pocket here. So now, how I did this is I save these beverage bags. I get, I can get, you can get wine in them. But ask if you, if you don't, if you're not a wine drinker, get. Uh, ask when you go in the store to put your glass olive oil and that whatnot in it, and then you end up with these nice long uh, beverage bags. Whoops. Um, okay, let me shut the door. My husband just got in and he's bringing a grill in the house that my brother, my brother is gifting us because they're moving and where they're moving, they don't have room for a grill. So we're going to get a nice new grill. All right. So what I did is I'm using these, these bags. So, and they fit very nice in here. And this measures, let me just, four and a half inches wide. And then if you're going to cut this, let me, let me give you the whole measurement. It is... 11 inches so you're going to need 11 because what you're going to do obviously you're going to fold it up and then you're going to fold it down and then we angled that and I, I showed you how to make that other one so so what I did is I folded I measured and folded how much bag I needed and I folded it up like this oh sorry guys they're bringing that grill in I might have to cut this short and come back and finish this and the next one. Then what I did is I came in with my pinking shears and you're going to need two. You're going to need two of these bags and they're going to be back to back. So like that. So that's all I did. So with that, you've got your two bags. Okay. And now we're going to glue them together. So you're going to glue the bag onto the bag and then you're going to glue the front onto your panel here and the back onto the panel there. And okay, so let's let's do this. Let me I'm trying to move it in case they make a 
lot of noise here. Um, a glue stick works fine for this. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just glue the middle of it about an inch, okay? Or an inch and a half. Okay, and you're going to line these up. I actually didn't need glue on both sides. Okay. Okay, so you got the middles. The middle is glued together, okay? And then you're going to glue the bag together here. Just like this. These are, it's so simple to make. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back bag. So it's just two bags, and you can make this wider if you wanna use three bags. Okay, let's let that sit for a second. And then you can see we have our accordion here. See that? Now we wanna attach it in here. So you are going to glue, and I'm gonna use this glue for this part, just down the middle the same way. Glue here. And this glues here. Right in the middle. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the back. And there you have it. Let me just get my bone folder in there. And in here. And then we have our accordion uh, file. So what you wanna do now is we're going to attach this to the back and I think I'm just going to, oh, the way they went, so they're gone. Oops, so my brother lives in, in our neighborhood now and now they're moving away. So I'm gonna be very sad about that. And then this comes down and we're going to make this into a pocket. So there again, um, I'm just going to glue the sides and the bottom. And I'm being quite generous with the glue here. And I'm gonna pop it down toward the bottom. Probably just get right in there real good. And this should adhere fine. Just kind of making sure that I've got it attached. And there. And what I did is on my brown embroidery floss, I just tied this cute little bee charm. And I, because I thought that gave it just that little bit of something. Okay, now with that, we've got our folio completed, um, right? Yep, we're decorated. Oh, the only thing here is I want to add a die cut over here. So, um, or a sticker. And I'm just going to add this little die cut here. And then I'm gonna add the die cut to the front right here and add a little sticker here. Whoops, this is coming up. Whoops, this whole thing shifted. Not smart, Joey. Let me leave this open just so it dries. So I'm gonna put that aside and we are going to move on to tags. Let me look and see how much time I have. Uh, 29 minutes, we have 15 minutes, so. I want to show you how I made these tags and what I made them out of. Okay, I talked to you about the book that I really liked um, to get these, um, uh, the wild flower book. And it, this is the insert, because I took the book apart to take all the, the watercolor. They're actual watercolor paintings, and it's called Wildflowers of Britain. 
Month by Month by Margaret Ernst King Wilson. And uh, this is from the Historical Society of um, Ludlow in the UK, I think. No, that's Ludlow Shropshire. I don't know. But anyway, she uh, was um, a water, but an amateur botanist and watercolorist. In 1999, she donated to the Society 150 sheets of watercolor paintings representing British and um, Irish flowers. It says, begun in 1943 for a friend who said, I might learn the names of flowers if you drew them for me in the months they're in flower. After her death, I repossessed them and continued to project until about 1990. I think about three quarters of the British flora are represented and they are absolutely gorgeous. And you can see here's one here and I'll, there's another one on that side. The whole book is full of all these gorgeous uh, flowers month by month and I cut them down and made uh, tags with them. This says Irish August. This is May and June. And I bet, and we're gonna have to cover this with something. You can see this is the back of the Manila folder. So I used manila folders and I came in and I sewed around them. So we wanna kinda of make these uh, kinda of special. So let's look at um, the ones we're gonna put in the front. Now I did this one and I did this real sweet uh, layered fabric tag here. And these are super easy to make. And I think, did I do a video of these? I can't remember if I did, but we I will do a video of these if you want, but they're so simple. What you do is you get all your fabric scraps and you layer them up. And then I have a little crochet trim here. I did a button to this one. Then I added this little handmade with love tag and some gold threads. And I thought that would be awful pretty just sitting right on a tag. So what I would do, and we'll make one real quick because my dog is crying to come in. I think I'll use this one. And all I do is I'm going to take my hole punch, punch a hole, real easy way to gussy up a tag. And I'm gonna put it over here on the side. Oh, there she goes. Put a grommet in it, or an eyelet in it. Let me see, I've got one here. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, they're just being awful today. And then we will come in and um, do some more. So I'm just going to take, I have a little um, bulb pin here. And I'm going to put that on there. So look how pretty that tag is and how simple that was. Okay, so we've got a little tag here and that's hanging over the side there like that. Then I have this piece of coffee dyed paper that I simply folded and put a sticker on. So how easy is that? And you can add as much or as little as you want. Also, this would be a good place to add a little booklet. I'll come back and put a sticker on this after. And then I have a real simple tag in behind. Uh, these tags right here, um, I made from graphics off of, the, off of the graphics fairy. Let's do this one. It's nice and colorful, we'll add that right there. Uh, you could do a little button there. You could, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could add some die cuts right on your, right on it, or some stickers, or gussy up your tags any way you want. Uh, I don't think you really need a lot. I'm going to probably do one of these stickers here. And look how cute that is. So that's simple. Um, another way, and we can probably finish this up and I'll come back for, whoops, let me grab my other one. Another way is to simply take your tags, run the, um, sorry, a cloth across the top or some lace, 
add a ball pen and a charm, okay? Um, I added to these, um, and these, I have got these from an ephemera book that I got off of Amazon. I cut them all out. And this was, if you want the link of that, I'll give you the link of that. And they have a real nice texture, you can see, but I did add them to some cardstock. And this was one of those, I believe, off of there. Then, um, what I did is I took these little key tags, okay, and I cut this out, this little circle, it says number one, number two, number three, and I simply glued these on. I took this off, so you gotta remove, you know, remove this because I don't, I don't want that silver thing. So, and put this right on there and you have this cute little hang tag. And then again, add your grommet or your eyelet rather and tie some of that, um, some of your, some dental floss or some cord or thread or ribbon and uh, attach and put that right in there. And then because I liked, I liked the look of having a little bit uh, more ruffle. Whoops, here he comes again. So I'm gonna have to go. And we will come back and I will show you the rest of the tags. This one is a big one here. Oh, I did another one of the fabric layers here. This has a B and then add a little ruffle there. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye because they're coming in with the second piece of the grill and it's going to be noisy. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching and we'll be back for the final flip. Bye-bye.